y'all. This is ADV Tress, and we've got Alice today uh, with her 285s, and we just got Alice's new bumper. It's a Hefty Fabworks um, single. Basically, how it works on Hefty Fabworks is this bit is steel, and then the bumper is aluminum. This little guy right here is where the backup camera goes. So anyway, so today's project is going to be getting this on that. The first thing we're going to do is take the um, tire off and then see where we go from there. All right, well, we got the tire dropped. And now what we got to do is start taking out all these bolts around here, everything that's underneath here. And then on this side, the same thing, all these bits and bobs to release this panel here. Let's get going on the dismantling. The bolts off here and around the bottom and then pop this little cover off. So as far as I know, we're ready to pry it off. Just as a call out, you see these little grommets? They're actually in here and I just lost three of them. So we're gonna go hunt around on the ground for those. And when you take yours off, be sure you pull those little grommets off first. I'm gonna go ahead and take the hitch off because I know that needs to get moved. Okay, so hitch is off. It's all nice and cleaned up. Now we're gonna take this guy and under here, there's a bolt. We're gonna unbolt it and then pop this off the bracket and with that bolt, put it back. And then we're gonna take these brackets here, the hitch, and then this bracket here we're gonna take those off. And phase three. And then this is a little sensor that I had to move the bracket for. Um, and I actually unclipped it here from the frame. I think it was clipped here because it was putting this wire at a really sharp angle. Um, I'll come back and just zip tie this wire down. And then the same thing here, I'm gonna zip tie um, my chain up um, and trim the muffler. And you can see I've kind of marked it there. Older video shows installing the hitch, put the bumper on. So we're going to go ahead and try to wiggle this bumper on so we can at least um, get it fitted. So let's see how it goes. So now our bumper project is on hold um, because we didn't get the hardware um, uh, with the kit. So Hefty Fabworks is sending that out. So hopefully we'll have that in the next couple days. So until then, we're going to move on to this project, which is installing a C4 uh, rear diff um, protector. So we've got the rear diff skid. I went ahead and um, when you when they ship it, they ship it bare metal. So I went ahead and put primer on it and then painted it, painted the brackets. And then I've got the bolt kits. So let's get started. My helper, Molly. So per... C4's video, we went ahead and installed, I think this is the e-locker bracket. We'll find out if we need to remove our bracket or not. And then taped up these two bolts um, for installation. So now we're gonna go under the rig and loosen up the sway bar and see what else we need to do to prep this to start the installation. Might need to disconnect the sway bar links. Well, we're gonna test fit to see if we can squeeze it up in between them um, without it. But this is the uh, yoke that goes over the spindle. See the lower skid plate is on there. And then we're gonna put our William tells on it um, to uh, check the bolts because I don't feel like I did an awesome job installing uh, that it was just kind of, you know, let's just get it on and secure and, you know, not one of my finer moments putting, putting that on. Um, I just weighed a ton and doing it by myself, uh, was a bit of a struggle actually. Uh, so anyway, so that's on. And I think the key call out for the lower is these rear brackets. See how this one's long in the back? And then it's got the, um, the top bracket is shorter in the front. So just make sure when you put them on, you have them in that orientation. Otherwise it's never going to fit, uh, which I learned. Um, get, you know, a buddy to help you lift the bumper in. And then I kind of hand tighten these and put everything else in below because you may need to put those shims in to kind of get it, you know, close to equal. I'm about 
a little bit over an eighth of an inch off um, on either side, but I'm just going to, you know, kind of go with that. And then you'll need to kind of knock these down a little bit um, so you can get these screws to line up and then the screws underneath to line up. So that's kind of where we're at. So we're going to get ready. We're going to take our measurements <clears throat> and get ready to cut um, the plastic panel so that we can um, put this back on and then see um, how it works with the tire carrier. All right, so we got everything installed and done. And this is kind of Alice now with the Hefty Fabworks um, bumper. I don't have them in the rear. There's those two rear um, wings. I don't have those installed because my Toy Tech reservoirs are in the way. So I'm going to have to take it over to Schaefer Off-Road and see if they can either remount these higher so then the bracket can fit or what my options are. So stuck on that. Can't can't finish that side this panel is not fitting right um it's just like everything is a little tight in here and I probably could have cut this to be flush with the door so that might be something I go back I marked it from the top of this corner to the bumper tried to give it about a quarter inch which eh, it's not really a quarter of an inch but at least there's space um, and then from this corner <coughs> down, and then I probably, on this side, when you bring the tape around, try to bring it around a little bit straighter. It looks like, you can see, I kind of went at an angle. Um, <coughs> sorry, sick hair. So anyway, um, the tire will mount here. What you'll see is that little scrape mark. That's where this latch you can see it's not quite lined up. Um, and I didn't do anything, you know, they said, hey, it already comes pre-installed. So I didn't change anything with um, this assembly here. So this was supposed to be already installed. I didn't change any of this, right? Uh, so I'm gonna reach out to Chris at Hefty Fabworks and, you know, is there something I need to change here or, you know, to get that or maybe this is just how you know and you can kind of see there how it is i'm going to try to get this as best i can but um you see the reservoir so i had a different reservoir mounts which actually dropped this reservoir um and you can see you can see these wings have this little up lip, right? And you can see the reservoir, even with the changed, you have to have these, and I'll, I'll show you why in a minute, but mostly to stabilize them for side impacts. Hit a rock, hit a car, whatever. Um, and you can see they have this little lip. Now, what we had to do is, I had to take my um, rig over to Schaefer's, and they gave me, or provided a new bracket that brought this reservoir up. But what you're gonna see, <clears throat> on this side, right, I've got, I, I don't know, almost no clearance between this shock body and this mount. Um, and you know, you know how the rigs flex and move and everything else off-roading. So this is now another point that I'm going to have to inspect. And it's so tight, I can't even get the camera up there. On this side, you'll see they actually, the shop actually cut that little ridge so that, I don't know, sensor thing could actually fit. So 